Welcome back. You know, a lot of people had to rely on generators for power when the ice storm hit last month. They're certainly a lifesaver. And it's also important to keep that generator dry and out of the elements to keep them running properly. Recently caught up with Brian Thomas to learn about Gentech. Now it's time for Hot For Your House, sponsored by John's Waterproofing. I think one of the biggest problems we see with generators out there is when we need them in a storm, like we just had a few weeks ago, the biggest problem is trying to keep that thing out of the weather, and I have an innovative solution for you. Brian from Gentent, welcome to Around the House Northwest, my friend. Awesome. Eric, thanks for having me. Appreciate it. And I love what you guys are doing out there because you have created such a great solution for people that are trying to not get their generator ruined or cause some other damage when they're just trying to keep power on during a storm. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that's how this product was uh, brought to market originally. Um, the inventor here, Mark, uh, moved out from the West Coast over here to New England and experienced an ice storm um, that was, you know, we were without power for a week and uh, very quickly realized he can't run his generator outside, obviously can't run it close to the home um, because of the risk of carbon monoxide poisoning or or uh, fire risk also. Um, and that's one of the areas that I think was pretty genius in, in how we brought the product forward is uh, everything is rated for really extreme temperatures, extreme weather events, um, but also overall with safety in mind. So everything is NFPA rated um, and, and protecting for not only the generator, like you said, but also to keep it out away from your home, uh, and keep your family safe. Yeah, that is one of the big things. I know some people go, oh, I just slid it under my carport. Well, that carport's usually connected to the house. And when it is, you're just given an open invitation for that stuff to sneak back in. And that can be a serious health hazard or worse. Yeah, unfortunately, um, you know, it's one of those kind of unknown risks that a lot of people face. It's that coin flip decision where carbon monoxide, you can't see it, you can't smell it. And so they're more likely to take that sort of risk in running it close to their home as opposed to, you know, they know what electrocution looks like. They know what fire hazard looks like. So uh, if I run it in with the, in the garage with the door open, then, you know, that's a risk that isn't really understood all that well. Um, but the latest guidelines, uh, both from, you know, fire officials as well as Consumer Product Safety Commission is to try to keep it 20 feet away from your home. Which is smart. I mean, I've got a really sealed up garage. It meets all the current fire code standards. If I use a spray can out in the garage in the wintertime with the garage door closed, I'm smelting in the house in under 10 minutes. So that tells you that that is not some super sealed up location, if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And, and again, with carbon monoxide, it, it spreads and it, it can spread pretty quickly. Um, it's about the same weight as, it, as regular oxygen. So it's really hard to pin down. So outside of protecting a generator, one of the things we always encourage to customers is to ensure that you have, you know, updated uh, carbon monoxide detectors and that you're checking those things as well. Nice. So how does your uh, gen tent work? Uh, how does this whole thing go together? Yeah. Uh, so there's two different mounting methods. Essentially, we have the open frame model that connects directly to the portable generators that have the big open legs on it, uh, uses a self-attaching clamping system, and we build out the frame from there. Um, and then we also have a fully encased inverter model that uses a pressure-based system um, fully grips um, around the, the inverter generators that are fully encased um, and creates a system that we can build out from there and creating a top-down kind of a, an umbrella watershed effect on top of it. Uh, it's important that it's, it's sloped so that water and snow buildup can, can fall away. Um, but these guys, like I said, are rated for up to an 18 inch snow load, 70 mile an hour forecast wind, uh, 12 inch rain an hour. Uh, we sent one out to you to hopefully you can kind of check things out. But one of the cool features, too, is once it's on there, it's very easy to take on and take off. Uh, but one of my favorite features is really having uh, the refuel door right there. Um, so you can just pop it open and uh, get easy access to refuel without risking any sort of water or, or, or damage to the electric panel as well. Nice. And then these fit most generators, right? You guys have come up with a lot of different solutions for many of the models that are on the market today. Yeah, great, great point. Um, there are uh, three different subsets of Gen Tent. Uh, so like I said, we have the inverter models for fully encased inverter. We have the open frame models, but we also have an extra large kit. Um, we have fit just over 3,000 different generators now. 
Wow. And with that, it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's more a uh, kind of the secret sauce in the engineering mounting solutions that we can adapt to so many different frame types. Uh, we also manufacture it for a couple of the generator manufacturers and champion power equipment in Westinghouse and hoping to get a couple more into the mix here. And that is great. So if somebody wants to get one, how do they find you? Yeah, so super easy, just gentent.com, G-E-N-T-E-N-T.com. Uh, we also sell on Amazon, Home Depot, Lowe's, Power Equipment Direct, uh, a variety of different uh, you know, online retailers and some local retailers as well. Um, and then it's super easy, well, you give us a call too. Uh, we have uh, full, full phone staff, you can call and pick up the phone and, and talk to somebody if you need any help with setup or technical questions or anything like that, we're an open book. All right, man, thanks for coming on today. I really appreciate it. This is a great solution for a big problem with people with generators. I appreciate the time. Thanks for having me, Eric. Now that's how you keep that generator out of the elements. Now, here's a quick look at how to install one at home. All right, guys, now let's install this gen tent on my generator. And as you can tell here, it's getting a little weather because it's been outside a lot as I've had to use it. So first up, we're gonna open up this installation kit. They do give us really nice directions to follow. It might seem a little confusing at first, but it's really easy. There's a couple different ways you can install it. If you have square tubes here, they make these brackets that we can actually screw through the side of this. But good news, I don't have to use those. I can use their other brackets. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna install these on here so our tent can go over the top of it. But first we need to mark out the locations. So reading through the instructions here, we need to go down here right where my seam is on the gas tank is where we need to come down from here. So I need to come down from this point nine inches. That's kind of the optimal point on this generator. But if you got a different one, go ahead and follow the directions for that. So let's go through and mark nine inches here. That's where we're gonna want that. Let's go ahead and start installing the brackets. These are what hold up the tent. All right, guys, we need to measure the dimensions here to know what our setting is. So we are about 21 and a half. So if I go to the chart up here, that says we need to be number three. And what's cool is, is number three, they tell us to be the third hole here and use the outside point to hook that up into. So that's really cool. Let's start setting the brackets. So I'm gonna come in here. All right, guys, well, it's gonna be a little tight trying to get around here with this decorative cover over the side. So I have two choices. I can either cut the decorative cover or use the pieces they gave us, which are these right here. And these are these standoffs in case you have a square bracket or something like that, depending on what's here. This will keep me away from that. So I know where I need to go. I need to get down here where I can get the meat onto that. One thing you can do here, which is kind of cool, I can just use a zip tie. Nothing like a zip tie to give you an extra set of hands. Let's get the drill out. All right, guys, so basically we've got the stakes down for our tent, which is how we captured it to the bottom of the generator. So let's put this in here. This goes into the outside hole for this size. And then the secret here is, is we have this internal cross piece here that goes in the middle. We also have this point that always goes up. So we wanna make sure that that is pointed up. So we're gonna slide this in here, get that captured. And then I'm gonna do the corresponding corner so we can hold it together here. That one into that corner. Let's get this slid in. So be careful so you don't smack yourself in the face here. But really, we're just trying to get these in. So we're up like that. And then we're gonna do this one. Always make sure that those are down in a really nice positive stop there. You can feel when it goes in all the way. There we go. Next up we put the tent on. All right, guys, we got the uh, tent cover here. Got a few more accessories to put on after this. This is how this is gonna go. So how you orient this is the front is right where the controls are, is that's where we're gonna fill from. There we go. So now we see how the cover goes, and now we can slide this over the top. can snap this down over here. That works pretty good. We've got full access. That 
snaps down right over the top of that. Now let me get these things straightened around. We'll put on the last few covers on this. They just really keep this protected in any rainstorm. All right guys, so I opted for the optional clear cover because I wanted to be able to see what I have going on here with my controls. So when this is running, I don't have to be flipping the cover up. So this is Velcro, so it's really cool. I just have to come in here, flip up this rain cover, stick this on here, wrap it around the side, and this just folds right down over the top. And then I'm good to go. I also got the optional cover so I could store this outside. This actually goes around the bottom of it and completely encases it so you can store it outside and not take up some garage space. This is an easy 15 minute install. And when you wanna protect your generator, this is the best way to go.